today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial and honest to God, I have no idea what I'm calling this yet. I am so scatterbrained right now. I just literally grabbed some eyeshadow, sat down and just film this as I was coming up with it in the mirror. So typically I am much more thought out and put together before I film a tutorial for you, but this was just like, Whoa. I was inspired to do this because twice yesterday I saw in a magazine article and on a TV show how orange eyeshadow is so on trend for summer, but so many people are intimidated by the color and don't know how to wear it. So I was like, got it because if you watch my channel, and if you are new to my channel, the first thing you should know about me is I am orange obsessed. Anything warm brown, orange, corals, golds, yellows, I just, I love. So I thought that I would do a tutorial for you guys showing you how all of you can get an orange eyeshadow look that is not overwhelming, it's not gonna be scary, and it's gonna complement all eye shades. This look is really going to make light eyes such as mine, blue, green, hazel eyes, really bright and really stand out. They're very complimentary. Sorry, I'm like talking so much with my hands. Way too enthused about this situation. My personal favorite eye color for this look though is brown eyes. Anytime that I use these shadows on a brown eyed girl, oh, so beautiful. It will just make the honey stand out in your brown eyes and just really shine through. So this really will look good on all eye colors and as you will see in the tutorial, it is so easy to achieve. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry for being a little all over the place and a little wacky jacky as always, but I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm going to be doing today is applying lip balm. I am using the Sugar Lip Treatment. It's always a good idea to moisturize your lips before you apply your makeup so they don't get dried out. Then I'm using an oldie but a goodie L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I'm using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush to press this into my skin. This foundation is ideal for somebody who is dry to normal in skin type because it has such a beautiful dewy luminosity to it. It does not have any glitter or any shimmer or sparkle in it. It just gives a really dewy, fresh face glow. I absolutely love it. It is from the drugstore, but it feels much more like a high-end, luxurious foundation. It is beautiful on the skin. Then we're going to go in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm going to tap this, starting in the inner corner of my eye, lightly dragging it down, make sure you're very careful, towards the temple, and then going in with Sigma F86. This is not technically a concealer brush, but I use it as a concealer brush because since it has the synthetic fibers, it really soaks up the excess concealer. So if you're somebody who can accidentally be too heavy-handed on your concealer application, this will really soak up the excess product so that you won't have creasing or cake under eye area. Then we are going to go in with MAC Pro Soft Focus, which is the yellow shade, and Emphasize, which is the white one. And we're going to mix them together and just tap this underneath the eye area to set that concealer using a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. I use this brush for many different things, and this is one of them. I am currently out of my Anastasia Banana Color Powder, so I am using the Soft Focus one instead which is absolutely ideal for anybody who is a little bit darker in skin tone than me, but I'm making it work. Then I'm going to fill in my brows just like normal, and I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz. Now I am using, oh yeah, look at the difference in those brows, baby. I am using a different shade accidentally, like I told you, I'm a little all over the place today, accidentally using the wrong shade to fill in my brows. So because of that, they come out looking a little ashy today, but we can see past that and just move right along. I'm filling them in like normal though, no intense like shaping or anything, just a typical brow fill situation. Then we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'm using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and a Sigma E40 Fluffy Brush, and I'm going to dust this from inner corner to outer corner. As you can see, I am lightly building it up, but I'm starting off with just a tiny amount of eyeshadow and just making it more intense as we go. It is so important to start off with a light color like this. Higher up in the crease, this will really make it so that your blending just comes out perfectly. Start with a light color first, then move downward in darker shades. Going in with Makeup Geek Chickadee and an E35 brush. An E35 brush is a more tapered brush. It has less hairs and it is longer. So it's going to blend a little bit more precisely and get deeply in that crease. So I'm going all the way from inner corner to outer corner, back and forth in windshield wiper motions, then back with the E40 to buff it out. You can use more peach smoothie if you want. You don't have to. Just make sure you blend, blend, blend in windshield wiper motions. 
This is the part of the tutorial where I accidentally didn't record the majority of me applying eyeshadow. So I am going to explain to you exactly what I do. I am using Makeup Geek Glamorous Eyeshadow, as you can see right here in this clip. It is a beautiful bronzy gold shade. It is more of a rose gold with some copper tones in it. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're putting that all over the lid from inner corner to outer corner. Then we are going to take Makeup Geek Gold Digger Eyeshadow. We're going to put that on top of the shade Glamorous in the ball of our eye. So right in the center of that lid, we're going to put Gold Digger over top just to get a pop. So now you have that bronzy, copper, and gold going on on that lid. Then we're going to mix Chickadee and Cocoa Bear and rub that all over the lower lash line. And then last but not least, we're going to highlight the inner corner and the brow with Becca Opal Highlighter such an amazing highlighter look at that thing it's beaming it's amazing and then we are going to get back to reality okay we are now applying velour lashes in wispy sweet nothings these are in like my top three favorite lashes of life i just absolutely love them and i am using a different glue than normal this is by house of lashes i ran out of my duo glue this month and so i have been using this for a few weeks and so far i really really love it so no liner just lashes then I am going to take that Gold Digger shade on any brush that you choose, and I am going to push on my lower waterline. If you lightly push, the waterline will flip out, and you can get an easier application without causing wrinkles and tugging on that lower waterline. It might seem weird that I'm using eyeshadow instead of eyeliner, but for people who have sensitive eyes, eyeshadow can actually work better because it doesn't hurt or burn your eyes at all, as opposed to some liners, and it really will stay for a long time. Then I'm just going to coat my lower lashes with lashes with Mac Giga Black Mascara, and this should be your eye look so far. So very gold, very warm, not overboard in the orange, right? I think it's the perfect amount of orange. Then we are going to go in with Mac Care Blend Press Powder in the shade dark. Using the NARS Eda brush, I'm going to lightly contour. I do not want to do a heavy contouring, but I do want to do a little. So we are just going to buff this out on the cheekbone and then around the temples and the hairline. I typically don't like to go too far down on my forehead. I like to leave a nice circle in the center of the forehead as a highlight and then I just contour by the hairline on the outer portions of my forehead. Make sure you blend. Then we're gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics Songbird Blush. This is such a pretty color. We are going to start on the apple of the cheeks and just work backward, blending it into that contour and going backward on the face towards the temple. Just make sure you lightly dust and blend. And then we are gonna go in with MAC Global Glow. This is a newer highlighter to MAC, and this is my first time using it, and as you can see, I am already a fan. This is really beautiful on someone with my skin tone over top of a blush. If you wanna use this as a specific highlight on the face, you're gonna to need to be a few shades tanner than I am. Then we're gonna go in with the MAC Limited Edition Lipstick in the shade Wood Rose. This is very similar to Blankety, so it would be ideal for somebody who is, again, a shade or two darker in skin tone than me. I'm giving all you tan girls many recommendations throughout this video. Then I'm going to go over that with Color Your Smile Coral Craze, which is a new lip gloss by them. It is a nudie, peachy, pinky, corally shade. It is absolutely beautiful. So after that, your look is complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. As always, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! One more time, take it from the top. I cannot believe that I just called myself Wacky Jackie. When I was 13 years old, my brother-in-law's brother called me Wacky Jackie and I literally ran into my bedroom and cried. <laughs> no. That's too much, I'm not putting that in the video. The lady, the, oh, oh, hey! Shoulders are so hot right now. Go on, dust your shoulders off. All right, we're just gonna pop it out. We're gonna drop it like it's hot. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Come on. That's what she said. Okay, really? No, we are not singing about booty. <laughs> no idea what I was doing though. <laughs> And I was like, okay, we're fine.
honestly, like you can't just say whatever you want on YouTube. Are you freaking kidding me? I want.